Hi, I'm Steve Finn from Finn Consulting Services. We help businesses become a franchise or a license and then grow all around the country and even, even around the world. And a topic that comes up from new clients that come to us often is around territories. Should you have territories? Um, how does, what's the best way to do territories and territory mapping and all of that sort of stuff? So I'll just give you a couple of tips around this. Certain businesses, you better to have no territory at all, 100% open. There's other businesses where you really want to have territories, nice, small, tight territories, sometimes larger territories. It just depends. But there's a lot of ways that you can do it. From our point of view, sometimes if we're selling something and we're selling a territory, it's actually a bit easier. It can be a little bit easier to sell a territory because some, the buyer kind of feels like they're getting a block of land almost, you know, oh, that's my patch. I bought my patch, you know. It's got a little bit more substance to it. But what you want to do is you want to also have a way where, depending on the kind of business and the clientele they're servicing, you want to have a way where, what if a client contacts them from outside their patch and they want to work with them? If you build a model around, oh no, they can never contact those people, or sorry, they can't deal with those people, they have to deal with the other person in that other territory, you end up with a situation where you have some disgruntled franchisees and licensees because it's really hard as a business owner to knock back business when someone approaches you. So I know this from experience from a lot of brands that have done this. So what you want to do is you can even have ways where someone has a territory and it might be like an exclusive marketing territory, for example. They're the only ones who are allowed to do marketing in that area and market in that area. But if a client contacts them from anywhere else and says, hey, can you help me with this? They can just say yes. So the client can be anywhere, but they can just do marketing with that area. And that's sometimes not a bad idea. So there's a few different ways that you can do it with your territory mapping. You can use borders that are already created, i.e. electoral boundaries, um, state boundaries, um, local, um, uh, local council, LGA boundaries, I think they're called. Or you can create your own boundaries as well, where you use professional territory mapping that might be based on, on um, demographics. And they'll normally work within main roads, arterials, etc., and they'll come up with a catchment area of so many thousand people that fits to your customer profile and they can create those and have so many around Australia or around the world, it just depends how it's done. So there's a couple of ways that, that you can do it. When the time comes that you might get to this, let us know and we're happy to give you a hand.